Terry, where JAM stands for Jesus and me. Hi, I'm Dr. Terry, children's pastor for Faithful Central Bible Church. Children, today we will continue with our story of the parable of the sower with the second thing that happened to the seeds that the farmer planted. Remember, when he went out to plant seeds for his crop, some of them fell on the pathway. There was no soil there, so the birds came and ate them up. The second thing that happened to some of the seeds was that some of them fell upon rocks on the rocky ground. Because there was some soil underneath the rocks, the plant grew, but there was no root underneath, so the sun scorched the plant and it withered away. Now, who remembers what the goal of a farmer is? The goal is to produce food, to make food, yummy food. So how do farmers do that? Well, they have to plant seeds. The more seeds they plant, the more their crops grow. Here's an example. If an apple tree is planted in good soil, it's going to grow a huge crop filled with yummy apple trees. But if it's planted on rocky soil, that's not going to grow at all. In fact, it will probably die because there are no roots. It's not planted well, so it can't grow. You know, sometimes we're like these rocks. I know, rocks. We're like these rocks, right? We hear the word of God. We're full of joy and we're so excited. But because we're not rooted in God's word, the joy only lasts for a little while and God's word can't sink deep into our hearts. So that means if something bad happens, if something doesn't go our way, then we we'll quickly forget what God said. Now, if we forget what God says, we don't want to do that. We can't do what he wants us to do. That means we might listen to other people. We might even listen to ourselves instead of doing what God says. And that is no good at all. We can get into big trouble that way. So it's important to listen to God, to do what he says. And how do we do that? We spend time with him. We read his word in the Bible. We pray every day and we talk to him. And then guess what will happen? We'll get rooted into God and his word will go deep inside our hearts. Then we can share what we've learned with others and then they can grow too. You know what? I have an idea for something you can do today. Get real close. Come on, come to the computer, to the TV, to the tablet. You ready? Go into the other room where mom is and share everything you've learned about God and the parable of the sower. And don't forget to do this one thing. Say, Happy Mother's Day! Did you think I would forget? I hope you didn't forget. Let your mom, your grandma, your auntie, all the special ladies in your life know just how much you love them, how much you appreciate them. Give them a big, big hug and show them how you love them. Maybe you can do something fun for them today. Maybe you can cook for them or draw a picture or do a chore, wash the dishes, or just let mom take a rest for the day. She deserves it. And don't forget this one thing. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I am Dr. Terry, and I'll see you next time.